All right, we got you some more uh, truck footage today. All right, so we're changing the idler pulley down there and the belt. So first thing we're gonna do is while we've got the belt on the truck, we're gonna break our pulley loose. 15 millimeter socket. Break that bolt loose. Uh. All right, after you got that done, we gotta relieve our tensioner. So to do that, we gotta take our ratchet. There's a hole right in there. Right there, you see that down there where I got my tool? And we gotta, yep, we gotta push back. So you push back, that's the tension off the belt. So we're gonna roll this forward just a little bit. We'll push that back. When you do that, come over here and pop your belt off your air conditioner. There, your belt's been removed. We can go ahead and let the tensioner back. Grab our ratchet back so we can get our idler off. If you let it fall to the floor, that's fine because there it is right there. And we're going to come back up here and we're going to take our bolt out of our... Make sure we're backed off here. And we're going to take our socket that we uh, had there for a minute. Put our socket back on. And we're going to get on here. Take this tensioner off. We got a new tensioner for it. And I'll show you that here in just a second. The long-winded screw, so be prepared. You might have to pack a lunch or something. This thing takes a while to get out of there. So you got a electric ratchet or an impact ratchet or something like that you might want to go ahead and zip that on there you can see the back side of it's just about out so we're going to pull our socket back up and see if we can turn it out by hand which we can so we're good to go here we'll have our pulley off in just a second you see it down there just a second we'll have this pulley off yeah this one's starting to squeal it makes a little chirping noise from time to time so when it does that, it's time to change it. And there we have one pulley. Okay, so we're gonna set our camera like that. See this piece right here? This piece right here is your lock. You wanna take that off so you can get your bolt out. Pull your bolt out. See, it's got another alignment lock and a flat washer. This is your pulley. This is an original Ford pulley, so I'm not surprised that it's uh, starting to squeal. It's got 213,000 miles on it, so it's about to happen. Here's our new pulley. Compare it to the old pulley, it's the same size. See, it's the same size. Same pulley. All right, to put this together, take your bolt, push your lock through like that. And you want to take this piece... And you want to spin it down on your threads. This is what holds it all together. So you're going to spin this down. See that? Can you see that okay? Yeah, okay. Spin that down until it locks on. Get it down as far as you can. Alright. See, that's what it looks like when it's all back together again. Then you're going to put this back on. Let's look up our torque spec. I'm not sure what the idler pulley torque spec is. Okay, so for our torque spec, it doesn't have one in the book. Closest thing I could find is drive belt. The belt tensioner torque, which is 30 to 40 foot-pounds. So we're just going to use that for our torque value. We're going to torque it to 40 foot-pounds. And I can find a spot to put you here where you can actually see what we're doing here. Oh, that's a really good spot if I get it to stay. Oh my goodness. It's the only problem with this little tripod here. You can't really do too much with it as far as trying to find a good place to sit. Well, you can sit right there. You're hanging off the ABS module. So, I think you can see what we're doing or at least get the general idea here. So we'll put our torque wrench down on our bolt down here on the bottom. 
you might have to take your hand and turn your socket just a little bit to where you can get it to go on like this as soon as you get your socket on get you some leverage here and just pull up till it goes click I'm pretty sure that's correct. I think this torque wrench might be screwed up. I really need to stop using it. Because it should have clicked already. That's proof that not all torque wrenches are the same. So while we're in here, we gotta get our belt changed. So let's get our belt off. Now this belt wraps around the fan blade. So you gotta fish it down around the fan blade to get it off. And then it'll fall on the ground. So we want to leave it on the ground until we're ready to pick it up at the end. So we'll take our belt, pull it straight up. And this one's been on there a long time, so it's time to be changed. The uh, belt check interval is every 50,000 and uh, change intervals every 100,000. But the service manual says that if you see problems with your belt at 50,000, you can change it then. Otherwise, change it every 100,000 miles. So, this one's probably due for two belts because it's at 200,000. And had I known that, we've owned the truck since it had 124,000, I would have changed the belt back then. But, did not know. So, we got our belt around our fan blade here we got a routing chart on the front of the engine on the radiator core support tells you which way to route the belt start off at the bottom of your pulley system which is your crank crankshaft pulley goes first then from there we go right to the idler or right to the tensioner so best way to do this is uh, flats are on the back of the belt, ribs are on the front of the belt. As long as you remember that system, you'll be good to go. All right, so this is what it looks like. I got our light on so we can see what we're doing here. All right, so belt goes up around your tensioner, around the alternator, around the top of the water pump. Goes down underneath the idler, comes back up around the air conditioning, down around the power steering pump back to the crank now what you want to do now is have your light malfunction on you no uh come on there we go make sure that your pulleys are good make sure all your tension spots are good you want to make sure that you don't have any issues because if you do now would be the time to fix them I see one right down there on the uh, tensioner. I might have to loosen the tensioner up just a little bit and push that belt back over. Because if this is even slightly bit crooked, it's going to come off. I know this from experience. So let me push that back down on there and then we'll give it a start and see what happens. Okay, so I did some adjustments. I straightened out our tensioner and I also straightened out our idler. So let's give it a start and see what happens. See if we have any lights come on or any goofy shit happen. Because now would be the time that it would. This I know from experience. We still got our parking brake set from earlier. So and if you haven't watched that video yet, take a peek. We did a valve cover gasket on this earlier today. It was lots of fun. Just like I said before, it went off easier than it, or went back on easier than it came off. Well, I don't see no lights pop on. I don't hear any kaboom sounds, so I think we got it made. Let's take a look.
call this done. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon on the next one. Be safe out there.